Okay, this is a reach back to algebra from grade seven and eight. We have various parts here, so as we're doing this, Hayden, make sure that you do copy down the answers and make sure that your answers are correct. Because we will have a little quiz prior to starting chapter eight to ensure your learning is up to snuff. So our first five questions are actually fill in the blank vocabulary. It's to solve an equation. You need to get the blank by itself on one side of the equation. CJ, what do you think that is? Very close. It is the variable on both on one side of the case. So if you have 2x minus 1 equals 3, your job is to get the variable on one side by itself. Because when you do, you will have the answer on the other side. Question 2, when solving a question, so you can check your solution by blank your answer into the equation. Theo, what do you think? Close enough. Substituting. So, for example, if I solve this one, and I solved it, and I said x equals, let's say, uh, 2. I could check my answer by taking the equation and substituting 2 for the variable, and then simplifying it using bed mass to ensure that my answer is indeed correct. So the word is substituting. Substituting. Question three, an operation that undoes another operation is called a blank operation. What do you think, Deacon? Correct. An opposite operation. So in the case of x minus 1 equals 3, if I add 1 to both sides, adding 1 to both sides undoes the minus 1 from both sides, or minus 1. Question four, one third of a number increased by four is 15 can be modeled using this equation. So one third of a number will be represented by taking that number X and dividing it by three. An increase by four means we're gonna add four to it. And is, it's a fancy word for equals, 15. So the equation that that sentence represents is a third of X plus four is equal to 15. And finally, question five, an equation that uses the distributive property model four times a number plus four times three is 20. Four times a number plus four times three. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This was too early for this question. So the answer is actually this. And what this means is this is four times a number. This is four times three. So when I simplify this using distributive property, I'm going to get four times a number plus four times three equals 20. So your actual answer using distributive property is that equation. That's a tough one. And whoever made that equation up or made that question up should be taken out to a field and shot because that is a terrible question. But that's the answer. Oh, maybe I did make it. That's right. Well, don't shoot me then. Question four says, uh, match the correct term to each. So here we have something we learned when we did our polynomials. What's that called right there? Distributive property. So our answer for question six is B. Subtraction and addition are, in terms of what's available, would be your constants of your um, solution. Oh, sorry, no, it's not. It's opposite operations. Sorry, F. Opposite operations. Uh, get the variable by itself on one side of the equation is to isolate the variable, D. To get the variable by itself, of course, isolating the variable is getting it by itself. An equation that results in a straight line graph is a uh, linear equation. Of course, back in grade 8, if you learned it, when you graph out these things and they form lines, the graph is called a linear equation. And finally, a mathematical statement with two expressions that have the same value is simply an equation. 